Hey guys, welcome back to Princess Connect. In today's video, we're going to be doing a reroll guide for the global launch of the game that's only going to require you to download the data once on one device, but it's also phone friendly. So you can do this with your phone. So let's get into it. Okay, so just a couple things at the start. Now there is another method that I think is probably a little bit quicker if you are using Bluestack specifically and you're happy to use a third party software. Um, I'll go to the Reddit post of it quickly and show you what I'm talking about. So there's this one here, it requires you to use this Bluestacks tweaker. Now for me, Bluestacks tweaker, it, fla it gets flagged by Windows Defender and all that stuff. So, you know, some people just say to me, don't worry, it's fine, just use it. I'm just like a little bit on the more cautious side, so I leave it out. I'm using this method here, but like I said, this one's probably a little bit quicker if you wanna do that. It basically roots your device, uh, your, your Bluestacks device, uh, and then you can go find the files and delete the certain file that is the save file, and then you can reroll like that. Um, but once again, this is only available if you're using an emulator um, and also, if you don't want to do use the Bluestacks tweaker because it's not verified and all that stuff, you can always use this method. So this is the method I'm looking at. Um, in this one, he uses one phone, um, but uses the dual apps, which is something you can download from the app store. I couldn't get it working personally. Um, what it basically does is it clones an app on your phone. So you have two different apps that are the same app. So basically, um, what it's meant for is something like, say I wanted to play two accounts of Princess Connect but not keep logging out and logging in. That's what that does. And basically that's all you need. It effectively gives you two copies of the game on one phone, but you can just do it with two phones. Now, the way I'm gonna do it is I am using Bluestacks here. So if you do wanna do this method uh, on your PC, you can go ahead and use Bluestacks. I'll leave a link in the description. It is affiliate link. It helps me out if you use it, costs you nothing. Um, it basically takes you to this page. You hit download AFK Arena on PC. AFK Arena is the game that I play on my main account. This is the only link I have for Bluestacks. Uh, if not, you can just search Bluestacks. You can search Nox, uh, LD Player. Those are sort of the main emulators that people use. Um, and you can just install any one of those. Um, and then for global, the game's pretty much going to be launched. There's an APK for soft launch, which I'll leave in the description, but most people are going to be doing this at global. So once you have this um, Bluestacks installed, this is I'm going to show you how to get the two instances. Keeping in mind, you can just use two phones, install the game on both phones, and you're pretty much good to go. But with Bluestacks, what you're really looking for here is the multi-instance manager that's down here. Um, now, you can if you can't see that, you can search it in your search bar. If not, you can just open up an instance of Bluestacks and you can find it just here, multi in, uh, instance manager. You'll just you'll only have one instance. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to create two new instances. So what you can do is you can go new instance, uh, go fresh instances, and you've got to make sure they are 64-bit. The game only runs on 64-bit, so that is the important thing. You create those two, you open them both up, and they will be fresh, basically like your phone. Um, and then you can go ahead, go to the Google Play Store, download Princess Connect on both of them. That's how we get started. Sorry if that didn't make sense. Um, hopefully it made sense to everyone that needs it. To everyone else, if you're just using two phones, have the game installed on two phones, good to go. So what you're gonna do is, this one on the right is gonna be my file that I'm gonna download all the resources. So the first time I jump into the game, I find it easy to go menu and then download all. It gets all the stuff downloaded and you're pretty much good to go. Now that this one I have already gone on, downloaded all the stuff, done a reroll. So that's why this one's at that. You can see it has an ID number. This one is completely fresh. Uh, it has nothing, it has a zero ID. So I've basically installed the game, opened it up, that's it. Now, if you have an ID there or something and you just, you wanna clean it, make it fresh, uh, you go home, I'll just maximize this one so it's easier to see. Uh, you go to the settings and this is the same on your phone, you find apps. You go down and you find the Princess Connect um, and then you go storage and then you go clear data. So I'm just going to do that, clear data. It's like starting fresh. Um, we can close the Princess Connect, reopen the Princess Connect. I'll small this up again. So now we open the Princess Connect back up and it's going to have that zero ID. So that's what you're really looking for. An account with no ID, meaning it has no data on it. As soon as you click this data link button, it's going to give it an ID though. And that's what we want. So the basic overview for those that are a bit quicker with all this stuff is what we're going to do is we're going to bind a Google or Crunchyroll account to this one. Now I've heard, seen a Reddit post where someone said they got banned for unlinking and linking their Crunchyroll account. Um, if you're scared of that, you can just create new accounts every time. 
I'm just using the same crunchy roll. It's just easier for me. Um, it's just what I think I want to do. So basically, what we're going to do here is this one with a zero ID. We're going to hit data link. Keep in mind the one on the right, I've done a reroll. I didn't like it. We're just back on the home screen. So this one, we're going to go data link. Now I'm going to go crunchy roll. I'm going to go account link. Uh, this is where you just, you go to Crunchyroll's website, make an account, and that's how you get your account. Now, I'm just going to go here, enter my details, and I'll be back. Okay, there we go. I've entered that. Um, as you see, see, it has a transferred data. So the thing about this is because I've already had it, my Crunchyroll account bound to this other version, um, it's going to want to transfer the data. What are you have to do in this case, and this is what you'll have to do on your rerolls, is remove the data first. So if it's your first time using the Crunchyroll account, it'll just be like a bind account button and that's it. Uh, but for the rerolls, your first time you do this, you're going to have to go remove. And basically what that is doing is removing the Crunchyroll account from any previously bound accounts. Then we hit OK. Next up, we go data link again, do the exact same thing, go into Crunchyroll. So that first time we did it, it was removing the Crunchyroll account from being bound to the account that we've already played. Now that Crunchyroll account is bound to nothing. Now we want to bind it to this account, which has no, it like hasn't played through the game yet. So we're going to go account link once again. Okay, and here we go. And this is what you're going to see if you hadn't bound your Crunchyroll account yet. So now we're going to hit account link. We're going to go link. And we're going to hit okay. Sweet. So now that Crunchyroll account, and once again, you can do this with Google. You can create a new one every reroll if you're scared, all that sort of stuff. But now it's got the ID up there and you can see that it's going to be bound to this ID. Keeping in mind, we haven't even logged into the game with this ID. So now we're going to go back over to our account that has downloaded all the data. Make sure on this one, you ne this phone or this, this instance, you never delete the data off this one. It's only off the left one. Never delete it off the right one. So now we're going to go data link. We're going to go crunchy roll again. I'm going to enter my details and we'll be back. Okay, so now that we've done that, this time on this account, we're going to hit transfer data. Now, the reason we're doing that is because we want to transfer that save file over to this phone because that save file has no progress on it. So basically, all we're doing is we're, we're transferring to that account that has no progress and then we're going to progress with it. And then basically, we rinse and repeat after that. So we're going to go transfer data. So it's going to go, okay, it's transferred. It's going to reboot it. And now it's going to start fresh with the data that this one had. And as you'll see, these will both have the same ID. So this would be like if you were if you had two phones or a phone and an emulator that you normally play on, once you got your main account, this is probably what you'd set up would be like. But basically now we're going to hit start. Now it's, you're going to have to go through the privacy stuff, um, cool beans. We're going to cancel the Google Play sign in. It's going to go here. We're going to do off and the standard. I don't know why it still shows this. See, it shows this and it shows download all. I hit select. It says it's 949 meg. I hit select, but it doesn't actually do a download. So I don't know if that's just like a weird thing that it does, but it doesn't actually make you download again. Uh, it might make you do it on the first reroll. So you might do your first playthrough um, and then where you install everything and then your first reroll, it might make you do that extra download. But then after that, it's fine. I've done this a fair few times now. So we're going to go skip. Now I'll maximize this one and we'll just go through the reroll process. Uh, we're going to hit menu. We're going to hit OK. And the, it's, the graphics are bad because I didn't download all the extra stuff that makes the graphics good. So <laughs> that's why once you get the account you want, you can go to the menu and you can download all those extra resources uh, as you want. So we're going to go skip again. It's a bit mundane. There'll be a lot of me standing here looking really stupid. But hey, you get that on the big jobs. So there's that one. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Get through this. Unfortunately, we can't skip this one. And it looks really funny. I changed the dimensions of my blue stacks just so it was easier to put them side by side. Um, I don't normally play with it like this because it looks trippy. Uh, we can leave the name. We can change it later or you can change it now. Whatever you want to do. Let's just leave that. Cool beans. Menu. Skip. Cool beans. Menu, you can skip this battle, which is really handy. Don't play through it. Skip again. What's going on, Yui? All right. Now we can click the screen, skip this one. It's all pretty quick once you've done, downloaded it all once before. So now we're going to have to go in. We're going to have to do some combat. Sorry for the clicking. I get impatient and I spam clicks like crazy. So I'm going to keep doing it. Anyway, we jump in. Go start. Happy days. 
Da 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 da. There we go. Get your team. Unfortunately, we can't skip this battle, but we can put it on two times speed and auto. I don't know. I haven't tested enough whether auto is quicker. I think in the second battle you have to do, I like taking it off auto. I feel like the animation wastes a little bit of time. Um, but this one, I think it's quicker because she does the AOE on all of them at the start here. So I think it's okay. Maybe if we don't use Peko's ult, it might be a bit quicker. No, we don't want to use Kokoro's. Yeah, that's, I reckon that was pretty efficient. Pretty efficient. You can just leave it on auto and get it done. Or you can just do nothing. I'm just talking to try and fill space. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a re-roll. Okay, next. Sweet. Okay, moving on. We hit next again. Yada, yada, yada. Now we're going to go equip some gear, which is so fun. Okay, Pekko, let's give you a sword. We are giving Peko the sword. And then the dress. Equip. Happy days. Now let me summon. Now let me summon. So this is where you can do your first summon. Now at global, I don't think many people... Well, you can stop after this first summon. You just close the close the app, go to the home screen, start again. Um, but because I feel like on global, we're going to get that many resources. Even if I get something I really don't want here... I think I'd still go to do the rolls because it doesn't take you that much and you might get like a triple pull or something like that. So we went ahead and got Anna. Once again, I didn't download all the resources, so that's why it looks sketchy as. So we're going to do this. Once again, you can close that app there and go back to the start um, and do your reroll process again. I'll go through and I'll do one more reset on the reroll just to show you guys. Um, but because we have bound to Crunchyroll, we're going to get an extra 2,000 uh, gems here. Plus, at the actual global launch, we're going to have a bunch of free resources. So you might be able to do two, three, depending on how many how much stuff they give us. I don't know exactly how, it, how many it is at the time of recording this, um, but you will get some goodies at global. So let's go here. Let's keep going. Clear this. Use Anna and kill them. Man, I love that animation. It looks sick. Except she goes to zero defense. Anyway, so what we're going to do there is get to there. Yada yada. It's a bit slow. I do apologize, but I want to do the full demonstration. I'm trying to fill in space. Okay. Now we're here. Go to the missions gonna go receive all okay close sweet now that that's done we get unbound we skip all that probably be global launch you'll probably get a bunch of other goodies but we're gonna go to missions and we're gonna go to the right tab the normal tab up here as you can see perform either a data link or account link we did the account link and then if it was a crunchy roll you get an extra thousand so that gives us two thousand plus whatever ever global is offering um also just so you know as i do this i'm using a dummy crunchy roll account as well as i do it if i was using google i'd be using a dummy google and then eventually i'll like bind it to facebook or something permanent later on uh once i get the one that i want but now we're going to go over here to the gotcha we're going to skip that. We're going to go to the 10 pool. We're going to do that. Once again, if it's global, we get like three or four 10 pools. Do whatever you, ha you can. Decide on your role. Move on. So this is trash. We don't want this. And we're like, okay, this role I do not want. So that is pretty much the end of it. What we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, put them side by side. We're just going to close this and open it up here. You can do it through the menu. I just like doing it from the home screen. Just seems a bit more uh, uniform to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to this one's settings, this one on the on the left, which is our like second phone that didn't download all the data. We're going to clear data again. Okay. Uh, we're going to go home. We're going to open Princess Connect. And then that is going to give us a zero data file again. So I'll keep going. I'll get to the point where we actually start the fresh run just so you guys can follow along. So ID zero. We're going to go data link. We're going to go data link. We're going to go crunchy roll. I'm going to enter those same details once again. Also, keep in mind, you can use a fresh Crunchyroll account. If you want to do it fresh and you're like scared about reusing it and then banning, I, don't, I really don't think it's going to happen. But if you are, or you want to use Google, you can use fresh accounts. Um, but this is where you go account link. I'm going to use the same one. So I'm just going to go enter those same details that we used earlier. Okay, there we go. Once again, we're going to remove it, removing that bind from that account, uh, which is now removed. That Crunchyroll account is now free. We're going to go back into data link, data link. We're going to do Crunchyroll again, enter those same details. And now we've entered that. We're going to go account link. 
link happy days okay so now that crunchyroll account is linked to this fresh account that hasn't even logged into the game now we both go back to our one that has downloaded all the resources we go data link we go data link again we do Crunchyroll and enter the same details. Okay, there we go. It's showing the ID. Sometimes it'll show you something different. It just, it does weird things sometimes, but it's it's fine. So now it shows us this one with the no player name, no player level, meaning it's this one that we haven't even played on. We're gonna go transfer data, transfer. Uh, so it's gonna delete that other one that we do have. We're gonna hit okay. And then it restarts and we get into it and we click start it's going to do this stuff again i'm just going to go cancel i'm going to hit the standard for this stuff i think if you did the high at the first time you did it uh you could keep doing the high and not have to re-download it i just did the little one so it doesn't really matter anyway we go okay it's going to say it's now, now it's like download all it's going to say it's got the the 950 meg but as you saw last time we don't have to actually download that we're going to jump in and now you start your re-roll plus the, the re-roll process again anyway that is it rinse and repeat keep going keep resetting the data on the left one uh my hand's going the wrong way because my camera's mirrored keep resetting the data on this this one <laughs> and then leave the data on that one and you should be pretty good and you just clear that data link the account to the one with no data and then once it's bound to that account you go ahead and link it to the account with all the data downloaded and then it's starting a fresh account and away you go anyway hope that made sense hope that helps someone out uh like i said friendly to phones if you want to do something that's a little bit quicker but a little bit more sketchy in my opinion but hey i'm a stress head so you can always go ahead and do that one that uses the blue stacks tweaker but, you know, Window Defender said no, and I kind of went, ooh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.